cut on logic we just go up and create a empty project we're going to create one software instrument and then we're going to go back and create an audio instrument audio track i'm sorry we'll go over and choose oh let's choose the ultra beat go down and get a kit and go create the tempo now you go into settings recording you go here and you click to create tracks in cycle mode and then you just play to make sure you have sound I'm using my MIDI keyboard there and when we go through we're going to um, do one pass of kick one pass of snare one pass of hi-hats where they can create their own separate tracks so if you're ready let's see if we can make it happen here we go you notice there are three separate software instrument tracks indicating there is a kick a snare and a hi-hat on them if you try to mute one of them they all mute together there's a trick we're going to solo them first we need to go and make our output into a bus so we'll create bus 10 and on the audio input we have bus 10 going in that way it can record the MIDI track onto the audio track. So now we're going to record MIDI and turn it into an audio track. Plain and simple. This easy. Let's go. This round is the kicks. Next round is the snare and hi-hat. like that now if we mute them they all mute together so that's no, no longer a problem take it out of solo if you look here they have all comp to a different decomp themselves I'm sorry with the little arrow here and there there you takes one two and three but if you want the trick is you unpack them now they all have their own separate audio track so if you want I'll just get rid of these. This is what I'm just doing for this tutorial purposes. I'm going to get rid of each one of my software instruments just to show you they have their own audio track. Now you can mute them one at a time, as seen here. You can go in and change the faders on your channel strip. So let's listen to the kick. That's the kick, and then here's the snare. And a hi-hat. And we can go over and pan it if we want, turn it down. There's the snare. You can, rename, you can rename them if you would like. That's your choice. Group them, etc., etc. So that's how you take a MIDI software instrument and turn it into an audio track, and then you can demix them into a separate track or unpack them onto a separate audio track for mixing in your taste.